Alright, hi guys. This is Reggie. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but anyways, I'm going to do a little tutorial video on how to do tile sets properly and import them and make them work proper. All that fun, happy stuff. So, I have the newest uh, version of RPG Maker MV, whatever the most updated version is. I have that because I have it through Steam. Um, if you don't have it through Steam, just go to the RPG Maker website forums and you can find it. It's pretty simple. So anyways, this is one of the newer updates, I think a patch ago, where you actually have the resource manager back because everybody's like, why don't we have this? Because it's kind of awesome. But anyways, so you, you just see the normal like resources. So let's say you want to import something. So you go to import and you go to where Ever you have the stuff. Like, I think I have the stuff in here, maybe? I'm not actually sure where I have mine, so give me a sec, guys. Here we go, RTP scaler. <clears throat> we'll just do this one. I'm not worried about those. Well. And then you just find whatever tile set you're doing, and you just go like that. Um, or you can do control and click them, but generally it's just easier just to go and bring it down, and it'll bring everything. Now these tile sets I own from the last RPG Maker, so I still have them, and I just have them scaled. So I'll import them. There we go. They're all imported. Pretty simple stuff. Took a whole five seconds. So we'll hit close and we'll open this up. And we'll go down to where it says tile sets. And I always like to change the maximum of this to 10. Oh, I changed it to zero. Well, I meant to say 10. But, anyways, whatever. It's completely fine. So I'll worry about the name later. I'm just going to click A1. Now, normally A1 would have, like, if this was the overworld, it'd say overworld underscore A1. But we're going to do the world tile sets. So, you can see that's A1. This is A1 bigger. Um, essentially, this is my scaled version. So, do that one. And then A2 is your ground. So, I just have to find a... My A2. And then A3. We don't have one. So, we're not going to worry about A3. Go to A4. And you'll see it says Royal Tile Set Tile A4. Um, and so you click OK. And then you click the Royal Set Tile Set uh, dash A5. And B, you would do the same thing. You would go down to uh, your old Tile Set B. Same with C. Same with D. Same thing, that's all of them. Oh, and, oh, no. Well, and there is actually an E as well. That's just because that's from actually a different tile set, but. You essentially do that. And you can go through and change these. And then you just click apply. And let's say you wanted to change it, so you just click this, you find whatever A1, let's say you're making a dungeon and you want to do that A1, and you just would click, uh, you find the one that says A1 at the end, or if you're in an A2 little slot, it says A2. What you need to make sure match up is this. A1 matches this A1. 
this A2 matches this A2. If there was an A3, you'd make sure it matches A3. Again, A4 matches the A4. A5 matches the A5. Because if you don't make sure that these things match, it will actually, the tiles won't run proper. And then you would go through and you see how this says passage. So I'm going to make, no, you can't pass through that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Or these tables, or those walls. And then, like, there's more walls down here, so you would just go through, and you would X anything that you don't want passable. It's pretty simple. So you just go through and, and do it on every, anything you don't want passable. Now, for tile sets like B, C, D, and E, you see how there's a star up here? It's a lovely star. You need to make sure that every single one has a star. Now, where the box that that star is contained in, it will not show up when you put it down. So keep that in mind. But the star makes it to where when I make these X's, to where the person can't pass through, it makes it work proper. If you don't have that star, then it's not going to function. And then you just click apply, and let's just call this royal, for instance. And you would just click apply, and you click OK, and then you would go here, and let's say I want gold floors. So you could do the gold floors. And if you want to do it quicker, of course, you can just do the paintbrush. And so now there are gold floors. Or let's say I wanted, I, I, that's too bright. So let's say I want to do that. So I want to do that shade. And then let's go and I'm going to take this. And that's my wall for instance, or let's do like, woo, or whatever. And normally, like what I end up doing is I'll do like this. Doop, doop, doop. Yep. And then I'll go through and do this one like every other one, maybe, and make it look aesthetically pleasing. Maybe add some armor dudes and that kind of stuff. Um, you can just go through and pretty much like add whatever you want. Uh, the only reason like some people prefer MV now is because I can essentially, let's say I want to take this stack and I can put it on top of it. And, you know, you can actually do that. So that's kind of nice. Um, let's say I take this and I put it like here and then let's say I want to change the top to be that. It works really well. You know, you can essentially like put a bunch of little trees. Let's say I want to put a bench in front of that. I put a bench in front of it and it works just fine. Um, VX Ace, you can do that, but it's kind of hard because um, you have to do events and stuff to make it work proper. And what I meant by like the star, like this one has the star at the very top corner here. So when I put this in, this one's still here. Uh, in VX Ace, it actually, this side wouldn't appear, and in here it does appear, so that's kind of a nice feature. So, this is a really oddly room, but uh, yeah, that's how you would do that, and then if you wanted to, you could go through and let my saddles. Say I want a saddle. Say I want a little saddle there. Um, but yeah, just like you can make the shadows and everything. Be a little shadow there. And then you would just save it. And there you go. Again, this is just like my test thing of running things. 
Um, so I'm not going to run it because I have something else saved from another event. But you could do that, and then this is... Uh, or did I not save my last test event? I might not have. I probably didn't. Or if I did, I didn't even think about it. No, I didn't even save it. But yeah, that's essentially how you do that. So again, you go here. You would go to your tile sets. You would import. And then you would click what you want to import. If you want to delete stuff, you can just go delete, 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 delete. Essentially delete anything you don't want. You can do that with anything, actually. It's kind of awesome. Um, but anyways, you would import it. And you'd be like, alright, I'm done with that. And then you go over to the database. Go down to tile sets. You go to... First, your first one would be, like, overworld. And you would click it. And you would click whatever one says. Like, if you have a different overworld set that you want to use. And it says overworld tile set, tile A1, or just A1. Uh, you always take the A1 and put it with the A1 here. So A1 and A1 match up, and A2 and A2 match up, and so forth. All the way down the line, or else it's not going to work proper, okay? So don't put, like, A1 down here in C or D, okay? Make sure you have them properly. You can always go over top of these. You can always change them in and out, okay? All right, and then you just hit OK. I'm not gonna like. I'm just gonna exit. So they ask me to save changes. I'm gonna say no, because that's just like my test for a lot of things. Anyways, and I will see you all in the next video.